Hi children, today we are doing something different. Yes, we are going to look at standard units of length. We already looked at length. We can measure different lengths. Yes, of cloth and ribbons and rods and tables, anything. Now, we are going to look very carefully, specifically, standard units. So, let us look at what are the standard units of length. Okay, it is very interesting, you are going to enjoy. Look, now, what is this called? Scale, very good. Now, you have this ruler or you call it a scale or ruler, whatever it is. What do you use it for? Measuring, yes, measuring anything. You can measure your table, your book, your handkerchief, your whatever you have, bottle, pen, anything you can measure. So, here is a scale or you call a ruler. You can get small one which is 15 centimeters, sometimes you can get 30 centimeters, sometimes it is longer too. Now, centimeter, why we are looking at scale is, in one side you get smaller divisions. If you want to measure an eraser, you will measure in centimeter and the short form of centimeter is cm, small cm. This is one of the standard unit of length. So, when you look at your scale or you look at your ruler, look at the small tiny lines there. Supposing you had a small eraser and you keep it here, probably it might be 3 or 4 or 5 centimeter in length. Yes? If your pencil becomes very small, teacher will say, what is this? The pencil is not standing over your hand. You get another. And if you measure that, probably it will be 6 or 7 centimeter small one. Sometimes children put a pencil, pen cap and use it. The pencil must stand over your hand. Only then you can write properly. Now sometimes you want to measure a coin. A tiny coin, if you place it over here, it may be 4 or 5 centimeters. Yes, so anything small you can measure. The smaller measurement is called centimeter. Yes, you want to draw a small line or you want to fold a paper, you want to oh, measure 10 centimeters, then you look for 10. Oh, from here, tell here, it's a 10 centimeter. You want to measure your little finger, you want to measure your thumb, anything can be measured in centimeter. This is one of the standard unit. Yes? So, this length, cm, centimeter, short form, you must remember. Anything small you want to measure, use measure in centimeters. Yes? Good. Now, supposing you have a tiny nut any nut, even it is a monkey nut, you can measure it in centimeters. Yes? Yes. Your rupee note, you can find out the breadth or the length of the rupee note. 5 rupee note, 10 or 20 rupee note, what is the length? Oh, it is 12 centimeters or 10 centimeters. You can measure anything. Let us look at our next standard unit of length. So, remember, the smallest is centimeter. Okay, now, let us measure a pencil. You have a pencil? Who gives you pencil? Teacher, friend, mommy. Now, you, if you take your scale, the long ruler, and put it down on the zero, and you see the length. What is the length of this pencil? It is 16 centimeters. So, you put 16 cm, small c, small m. So, when you, you can measure your 
big pencil what mommy gave you this morning it is 16 centimeter so suppose you have a pen if you put it on the zero maybe it may be just 10 centimeters your pen good so you can measure with your ruler with your scale the things in your pouch in your pencil box what are the things you put in your pencil box color pencils crayon pencil pen eraser everything can be measured in centimeters yes let's look at more examples so a pencil can be measured on your scale on the ruler correctly put it on the zero and do now the next one is meter meter short form is small m meter is another standard unit of length okay now how can you measure with what will you measure the meter inch tape you might have seen mummy having an inch tape grandma having an inch tape or my daddy must be having for measuring things now inch tape you can measure meters in the shop the shopkeeper has half meter rods or one meter rod it can be half meter one meter and he measures the material he'll just take out the material and he will measure half meter and you might next time you go to the cloth show shop with mommy you see the man measuring the material okay you have a rod but here inch tape also can be measured quarter meter half meter one meter and so on when you go to the tailor shop with mommy he will normally have this inch tape on his neck he will be measuring all the time yes he might take measurements on you how much of sleeve would you like a full sleeve dress or a half sleeve dress yes would you like a short dress or a full length dress depending on what you ask for he will take the inch tape and measure you look carefully at the tailor shop when you go to the tailor shop when you go to the cloth shop watch out and look out who has this when you ask mummy also to show you an inch tape you can measure meter you take mummy's dupatta is normally Five meters or two and a half meters. Mummy's sari, like what I am wearing, if you measure it, is normally five, five and a half, six meters. Yes, you ask mummy to show you. Good. So, meter is measured with an inch tape or meter rod. The short form of meter is M. Inch tape you can measure material dresses we can take measurements so this is one of the bigger units of length good let's go on now let's look at some example with the inch tape with the inch tape with mommy's help what are the things that we can measure now if you take inch tape you can measure the length of the table breadth of the table you can um, measure the height of the table. Yes, he ask mommy to help you. Chair, what about your chair? What is the height of the chair? What is the length of your sofa? And so on, whatever is there. What about your dining table? It's a huge table. You can measure the length, the breadth, the height. Yes, using an inch tape. Ask mommy to use an inch tape and help you. To look at to measure the full curtain the window curtain the length and the breadth you can use an inch tape to measure tablecloth bed sheet your towel what daddy uses big towel yes so inch tape you can use to measure anything in your house yes good let's look at some more now the next the third standard unit of length is kilogram 
and you use the short form kg is one of the most important unit of length and we use this measurement when you go to the shop with mommy to buy vegetables and fruit and grocery shop look out how does he measure mommy will ask may i have 2 kg rice or 2 kg dal oh what is 2 kg 2 kg and see what the man does vegetable vendor fruit vendor they will also have me a weighing machine like this and they will put the weight here and the items here fruit or vegetables whatever you ask for whatever mummy asked for weighing machine so this is a weighing machine you can put things and measure ask mummy to buy you a toy weighing machine then you can practice in your house yes if you put weight here and if you put some vegetable here you see what goes up and you will know exactly how many kilogram a cabbage is how many kilogram a potato is how many kilogram one huge yam is and so on so let's look at examples of kilogram weighing it good here's this another one you might have seen one like this yes look he has put the weight here and he's got some fruit here you saw and if the weight is more then it this will go down if this is more this will go down depending on how much what is the weight of the item that you have put on the weighing machine one side the weight the other side any item you like to get from the shop so fruits mainly vegetables fruit grass anything that you buy from the market you must look at the weight place if you ask for 1 kg kg they will put a 1 kg weight if you say half kg then they put a half kg weight and they put the fruit here so listen to mummy and the shopkeeper next time the vendor comes to your door let's look at some more examples look in the vegetable and fruit vendors cart you will find a weighing machine like this have you seen they'll place weight here they'll put fruits or vegetable whatever you will buy in this case they have put the weight here how many kilogram and how many gram whatever and in the pan they put 1 2 3 4 oranges so they may be maybe mommy is buying half kg oranges and he will put the weight here and then this will either go down or up depending on how many fruits mummy is putting in how much money she would like to give how much of fruit she would like to buy 1 kg oranges or half kg oranges depending on so this is also another type of weighing machine and kilogram is written in kg short form so kilogram is one of the standard unit of measurement yes when you buy any weight this is one of the measurement now kilo you will buy rice in kilos 5 kg 5 kg of rice 1 kg of dal and so on let's go on are you enjoying children good look at this you might have seen a weighing machine like this and you will see the numbers coming up depending on the item that you put on top of it yes if you put on top of it a cabbage then it will show what the weight of the cabbage if you put on big cabbage it might be 1 kg if you put a tiny cabbage or tiny apple then it might be just quarter kg yes so this is also a type of weighing machine you might see when you go with mummy in the either in the shop or with the vegetable and fruit vendors good let's go on this is called an electronic weighing machine and you will see the numbers coming up here and when you touch normally the shopkeeper will touch and the zero will come before you place the items on the top fruit or vegetable or dal or 
rice or whatever. Okay? This is called an electronic weighing machine. It works. It works with the electricity. The others, they use the actual weighing weight. Good. Look. Now, look at this electronic weighing machine and we are going to see how much a cabbage weighs. So, first he puts on zero, then he put the cabbage on top of it. And now this cabbage, we like no one full cabbage, maybe one kilo. And mommy says, yes, it's looking fresh and nice. Let's get the whole cabbage. It is one kilogram. Good. I'll take it, mommy says. Yes. So, you electronic weigh machine. First, you must look at the zero before you place the vegetable or fruit on top. Yes. Did you enjoy, children? <laughs>